Uh, now I want to talk about another problem, which is which is multi-way cut. Oh, by the way, uh, multi-way cut is very is very similar to minimum k cut. So a lot of students confuse them, and uh, they cannot distinguish them. Uh, so for by multi-way cut, I mean given a set of terminals, so it's much more limited because they force you to think about uh, the terminals, some terminals, and uh, for example, S1, S2, SK. So we fix some term terminals and we find a minimum weight set of edges whose removal separates each pair of the terminals. So let me write it, the find minimum weight set of edges whose removal separates each pair of terminals. For example, terminal 1, terminal 2, terminal 3. So you can make a cluster like this, but your terminals are fixed. On the other hand, the minimum k-cut problem is much more uh, general. It is less restricted, it is less strong. So it's a weak approach because you, you, don't, you don't know uh, at start, you don't know uh, your terminals and you want to uh, find so given an integer k, integer k, the problem is find minimum weight uh, set of edges whose removal divides the graph into k connected components. You don't know which vertices are associated, but you have a uh, K components, K connected components, K of them, one, two, three, or K of them. So this is the different uh, notions. So now I want to concentrate on multi-way cut. So multi-way cut, the problem, so the input to the problem is that it is a graph G, V of E, vertices and edges, you have some costs C of E, and you have some terminals T1 till TK. And so T1, T2, T3. We don't expect to find an integer solution, but we can add a stability constraint so that the solution becomes integer. So, uh, so we have so we want to find something like this. Uh, before talking about stability and perturb gamma stability, let me just formulate it using uh, just linear programming as, I, as I've done it for a previous problem. And then uh, for, for, for each edge, x of e is greater than zero. And for each vertex V, the i's component is greater than zero. Let me give you an example. For example, D of uh, your, ter your i-th terminal is everywhere it is zero except that the i-th group. So this is the i-th group and everywhere else it is zero. So this is an example. And uh, for example, for another vertex, you may have, so it belongs to the third, uh, to the third group. So we, here, for example, we have six group. It, uh, th this vertex belongs to the third, third group. And so the, the constraint is that dit is equal to one for any i from one to k, and Ti is the vertex, vertex Ti, and the sum over 
all the i is equal to 1 for any v i from 1 to k and so we have some uh, some variables for example y i e is greater than the i u minus the i v and y i e is greater than the i v minus the i u and uh, so in other words i can say that y i e is greater than d i u minus d i v and the v i is just the extent to which an edge is cut for each coordinate and x e uh, becomes uh, the sum over all these extents i from 1 to k because for each edge there are two coordinates so that the maximum difference is 1, so we compensate it by, by 1 half. So we have no problem. So it's like the L1 norm of the difference between two points in the simplex. For example, terminal 1, terminal 2, terminal 3. So it's like that. You can see the extent to which an edge is cut. And uh, this is... Uh, this is the LP formulation, and you want to minimize. Uh, so the, your objective is minimize C E X E over all edges, and uh, the K cut problem. Uh, the K-cut problem is a little bit different. And uh, so let me give you about um, gamma perturbation. The gamma perturbation that I promised you is... So I prime, I prime is a gamma perturbation of I if it can be obtained from by by perturbing the parameters by at most gamma i mean multiply each parameter by a number between one and gamma so in other words uh the weight weight of e is sandwiched between gamma of e and uh, omega of e gamma omega of e The prime of U and V is between gamma of D and U and V. D of U and V. So by definition, an instance of an optimization or clustering problem is perturbation resilient or instance stable if the optimal solution remains the same when the perturbation instance. So every gamma perturbation has the same optimal solution as I. And this is the uh, approach for gamma perturbation. But uh, first let me give you, because a, a multi-way cut is related to K-cut, so let me... Uh, finish the K-cut and then we, we will come back to the perturbation analysis. So in 1998, again, I say that Karger and uh, uh, Stein algorithm uh, is that we pick a random pick a random edge contract it and uh, repeat when k vertices left. That is your k cut. For every minimum k cut, uh, probability to output that k cut is at least n to the minus 2k plus 
order of one. Uh, so the number of min k cuts is at most n to the 2k plus order of one. So the number of c approximate k cuts is at most uh, n to the 2ck plus order of one. So this this was uh, historically was the first uh, uh, randomized algorithm for k cut by Karger and Stein. But uh, in but there is a deterministic algorithm as well. So the deterministic k min cut in two thousand eight is uh, the approach of uh, Tharup's tree packing. So we compute order of K3M log M minimum spanning tree. So edge weight uh, when computing tree I is a uh, number of times. And uh, so the previous trees used for that I mean, the edge weight when computing tree i is the number of times that the previous trees use that edge. So at least, at least one of these trees crosses the cut. So this is less than equal to two times k two k minus one times. So we guess this tree, order of k three m log m which is order of n2 and we guess the k uh, we guess the cut edges by order of n to the 2k minus 2 and we guess how to merge 2k minus 1 components into k groups so k to the order of k and the total time is k to the order of k n to the 2k and finally, uh, recently, I mean, we are to 2021, but uh, in 2018, a paper by a guy called uh, Chandra Chekuri from Illinois, and uh, he wrote this very interesting article, LP Relaxation and tree packing for mean k cuts so if you if you read this article you will understand uh, how to solve uh, this k cut problem using uh, linear programming and linear programming is nowadays I mean, together with uh, semi-definite programming to, are, are essential in, in almost uh, uh, any rigorous approach to approximation algorithm. I don't mean that for any approximation algorithm you have to use it, but uh, it gives you a powerful tool to, to calculate something which is otherwise too tricky or less algorithmic. And uh, so this is the end of this lecture.